I wanted to take a video to talk about my method for making YouTube videos because I have been contacted about this and there have been comments left and I would like to address it. And um, I wanted to I want to make it clear, I don't, I don't come into YouTube videos with notes for the religion. Um, when I talked about religion, three videos on religion, I had some talking points on a sheet of paper. And for the um, bailouts and um, artificial stimuli, I had some, I had some talking points. Um, because I felt like I needed to have six or seven lines of something uh, to organize my thoughts so I could retrieve them. And otherwise, all my videos are cold. And that seems to bother a lot of people. But you're still watching, right? And, and you feel the need to email me about it or, or, or message me about it or leave comments. Um... And I'm sorry that not everyone is feeling comfortable with that. This is this is an experience to um, this is an experience for me to kind of uh, explore my own stream of consciousness thought, right? So everything you see here is supposed to be as close to unfiltered as possible, and. So yeah, I might be lying back, or sighing, or touching my face, or playing with my hair, or doing whatever. Um, this is not supposed to be me uh, making a video of me talking to the camera like this, and being very excited, and speaking like a newscaster, and giving you guys news, or giving you guys um, my opinions on politics, or, or religion, or everything I talk about. That's not what I want to do. And I don't want to sit down and edit my video using um, editing software when I'm through with it. I don't, I, I've never done that, and I don't want to do that. I want to capture myself as close to being unfiltered as possible, and then show it to you guys. But more so, it's, it's me exploring my own thoughts. And I know that I'm a little too analytical for people. And I get that even when I do filter my conversation. Um, you know, when I speak with friends or people at school, you know, I get that. So obviously on YouTube, when I go on and on and on and on and on about something and, and look at it from a hundred different angles and go, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, yeah, I can see how some people might, might be annoyed with that. And I guess, okay, some people like this and some people don't. And I guess it boils down to you can watch this on YouTube or you don't have to. Um, but I did want to explain it. I wanted to explain the reason for me doing this and, and, and why I make videos like this in this manner. Um, it's to provide you guys with a genuine view of an individual using YouTube to communicate. It's to explore, um, what's the word I'm looking for, the phrase I'm looking for. Um, it's like, it's like introspection for me, okay? Instead of me thinking to myself, I'm kind of thinking out loud about certain topics and, and, and about myself and about my thoughts for you guys to see. I mean, that's fantastic, right? I wish, I wish more people on YouTube would do that. I, I would be very interested in watching people do that. And I think that's what I do, right? Maybe I don't talk about stuff that I would like to see people talk about, but I make videos in a manner that I would like to see people make videos. So, that's, 
I mean, you you do what you like, right? So you go to school for something that you enjoy studying, and then you have a job that you do that you enjoy. Um, it's it's kind of like that. Um, so that's why I'm so unfiltered. That's why my thoughts are kind of scattered. That's why I'm not prepared. That's why I'm a little unorganized. That's why there's long pauses in between sentences and me thinking, going, hmm, what should I say next? Because you are getting me going from thought to thought in like real time, unedited. And I find that interesting, not only to just do, but to watch other people do online. So I subscribe to people that seem to do that, and there's not many. So YouTube for me is a unique method of communication. And I know that some people use YouTube to post television shows, to broadcast journalism um, to uh, write comedy sketches and then kind of put them on there like a shows production stuff short skits plays pranks whatever um, <clears throat> anything that is is visual any form of visual art YouTube has become used for and youtube.com and the tagline is broadcast yourself so the user Lisa Nova broadcasts herself by making what I find to be really comedic videos, <clears throat> right? They're funny and they're pre-planned and she has act actors and she has scripts and she rolls a camera and, and plays out her, her whatever, her theater, and then she uploads it and people love it. Other people like myself uh, just kind of want to get on here and talk to other people. I'm not necessarily providing people with something to watch. I really want to talk with others, which is why when I started making videos, um, I mostly just did video responses. And then someone wrote me and said, you know what, I kind of, you're kind of interesting to watch. Why don't you come up with some original material and not do video responses all the time? I said, like, okay, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So what I found is there are, there are people out there who like to watch someone else go through unfiltered thinking and um, and not and have it be more raw than something more prepared. So there are people who who like that. And so now all of a sudden I am kind of putting something on YouTube for people to watch instead of me communicating with people on YouTube. And so that's kind of shifted, but but I can my intentions are still the same. My intentions are to communicate, but others are perceiving my videos differently, and that's cool. I think that's awesome. I think that's fantastic. But I wanted to clear up. That's that's why I do that. Um, and so I'm going to keep doing it this way. I, I don't. I'm not going to edit stuff. I'm not going to um, give you guys uh, some. I keep looking down because I keep looking at my time timer because I have 10 minutes to talk, right? YouTube, YouTube says, unless you want to give us money, you have 10 minutes to make a video. And what you say and what you want to deliver is going to be encapsulated into 10 minutes. And then if you want to continue, you're going to have to break that and then, and then make a second video, part two, which I've done. I've made videos that were three parts before. I made videos that are two parts before. Um, kind of like television. You're forced to fit a sequence into a block of time, and then you have commercial, and then you have another sequence block. I find that kind of annoying, and that's why I keep looking down. I think I've made my point. I took ten minutes to make it, right? Um, but yeah, that, that's why I do. That's why I do what I do, and, and that's why I do it the way I, that I do it.